welcome back. This is Dell on the We Do Stuff Vanilla Server. How you guys been this week? Um, we're doing pretty good here. Per pretty, not pretty good. What a crazy, crazy week. Um, <laughs> wow. All right. So in the meantime, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's let's give you an update on where we're at here. In the meantime, I put a little bit of work into this. Ouch. So I wanted to get this kind of laid out so we had an idea where we're going when I was doing it, and that just needs to be cut down. Either way, um, I kind of went with a low roof. I tried a couple different ones, and this is what I ended up liking. Uh, I need to take the white up those sides. Forgot that. And the inside looks pretty awesome in my opinion. I got all the <coughs> supports, supporting logs, supporting beams going through, and the sides here. Need to add the fence gates. Haven't done that yet. Um, added a couple details. We do need to put windows in eventually. You guys get the idea. I will tell you that Flame Boy does not like... <laughs> he does not like the actual colorations. And I laughed at him and said it was my Let's Play. So <laughs> he got quiet about that and left it alone. I do want to leave this open. Um, reminds me of a hayloft where you throw the, the hay down from the top. Of course, this is just going to be storage. Maybe throw a couple of hay things up here. Uh, yeah, that means I have two workbenches. I also did a lot of work on gathering a ton of... What are you doing? How did you get up there? Okay then. Either way, I uh, did a ton of work on gathering dark oak to work on building the bridge system down to that, so maybe we'll work on that today. So let's see. Let's add some... Let's fix the corners. And we'll go from there. So how's your guys' this week been though? I hope good. Okay, you're down. We'll call it good, and I'm not going to bug, bug you anymore. Um, ours has been, it's had its ups and downs. It's had some serious positives. I'll tell you a serious down. So, you know, I headed up, or actually south, to go to my doctor's appointment um, on, was it Monday? My brain is just not working anymore. I'm pretty sure it was last Monday. So I headed south to go to that, and I'm on the wrong spot. This was where it needs to go. And I get down about 20 minutes away, I'd say, right? All fine and dandy. Uh, no problem so far at that point. And 20 minutes away, everything started going the wrong way. The car started stuttering. Now, mind you, this is an old car. Uh, we're talking probably 20-some years old. Got purchased for a very small amount a long, long time ago. So the fact that it made it this far is pretty impressive. So we're not, not heartbroken. It just definitely throws some stitches in the, in the situation. So we're heading down, and the car starts studying. And I'm thinking, well, this is my husband's car. So, you know, I don't know it very well. Um, so maybe, maybe it's just, maybe it's running out of gas. I've never run it that low. I just needed to get to that doctor's appointment. Didn't want to be late. So I'm pushing it. And I get down there, and I decide I have to stop for gas. I can't take the chance. It's not going to start up again. Stop for gas. It starts. Runs just fine until I put it in drive. <laughs> oh, not good. Put it in drive, and it goes... <laughs> and dies again. Uh, at this point, I am not, not a happy camper. Whoops. Um, but what do you do? So, I'm like, you know, I really got to get this doctor's appointment. We're only five minutes away. We're, we're only like, you know, three minutes away at this point. So close to it. So I try to pull out on this really busy internet traffic intersection. The car dies again on me. Luckily, thank you very much to those out there that are kind to people who are having car troubles. Uh, there was a very nice uh, delivery truck driver that was pulling that was actually who let me out into traffic in the first place. What am I making, by the way? Oh, I need to make sticks. I'm going to use dark oak for this. It's easier to farm. Um, so he, he doesn't throw in a fit. He just sits there and waits for me to get myself back into the uh, I managed to get in reverse and get out of traffic is really what it came down to. So we're all good there, right? And I'm back in the gas station. It's running. So I'm thinking, all right, I can do this. We, we can go around. So I, I go ahead and I, uh, I uh, go around the back of the gas station, try pulling out again, and it's sputtering the whole way. So I pull right back in the very next thing and park the car, and that was it. it it's not going anywhere anymore. We did manage to nurse at home. I think it's the fuel injection. Uh, it's very old, so that that's one way to start your week. I will tell you, not a cool way, but I am so thankful to the truck driver who was not rude to me while I'm sitting there with my car that's not going anywhere. 
But so let's see, that was last Monday. We spent the week trying to see if we could find any actual cars we wanted to buy. Um did find a van, but that just didn't turn out either. So one thing or another this week, I tell ya. Ultimately though, so very blessed. Uh it may have been a crazy week in that regard. Hello. But in the long run, there's still a working vehicle. I don't need a vehicle most of the time. So we're working on it. It'll 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 function somehow. Hi. You really like this barn, don't you? I am glad you do. How about we put you in a stall? I think we should. You're like, no? You don't think so? Think that's a bad idea? Ha! We have a horse in our barn. Yay! <laughs> craziness. Absolute craziness. I will tell you, if you guys are driving along and somebody's car stalls out in front of you, don't assume that they're out just trying to get somewhere in a car that shouldn't be out in the first place. Because it could be just like the situation I was just in where, really? It should have been working. It has shown no issues up to that point, and suddenly it just goes. That's the way cars do. Oh, well. All right. So, let's see. Oh, you know we need that back again. Oh, craziness. What a week. Uh, what else has been going on around here? So, curious. And for those of you... There's going to be a contingency of both in here. So... I, 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 you guys all know now, by now, that I was on hospital bed rest for a long, long time. That, or actually, bed rest in general, hospital bed rest after that. So, you know when you're stuck laying down, hmm, it's really hard to play games. Because your laptops and such, they really kind of require you to sit up for the most part to type. Unless you find some kind of special way to finagle them into an angle, which I sort of did. I watched some, some, uh, some YouTube. Ow. I really do fail at that. I watched some YouTube on the laptop and such, and we worked it out. It, it functioned. But for Christmas, actually before Christmas, it was kind of an early Christmas present, my husband bought me a 3DS, specifically with the intent of a way to keep myself entertained while I'm laying there in the hospital other than watching TV, because I... There are a couple of shows I like, but I'm not a big TV person. I'm just not huge on it. This doesn't... It tends to end up boring me. There's a lot of shows I just don't find all interesting. So he got me that, which was awesome. Except for the fact that I had never in my life ever... You know, we need to go sleep. Intended to play to Pokemon. Let's go. All the way back over. Hello. Alright then. Um, curious what you guys all think of Pokemon, if you actually play it. Uh, it's definitely a good time killer, uh, running around in circles and catch them all. Um, I, I will say, actually, it was kind of fun, and it still is. We, I still have it, and I still do play it occasionally. Uh, lately, I've been back to the computer games, just because, as you guys could tell in the last video, I am insanely excited about the fact... Hello, Barn. I like the way this is starting to look, minus smashing my face into it. What do you guys think? Let's go look at it from an angle here. I think I like it. I mean, yeah, the lighter color is definitely a complete difference from what I usually do. But so far, I'm thinking it looks pretty good. And I really like the interior. I like the way this turned out. Very, very much so. Hi! Are you liking your new stall? Good. Um... Uh, it's Pokemon Y that I've been playing. Uh, we do have more other ones around here. That has been, though, the current game of choice, I guess you could say, when it, came, it comes to the DS. And I did finally complete the storyline specifically so that I would have more stuff available for the family when it comes to the Friend Safari. Oh, Friend Safari. Hello. Come on. We can do this. I may just finish the rest of this barn off camera, but I really wanted to get you guys back involved in it because I kind of did a whole bunch of it off camera. No, bad. And that was the wrong one to use. Oh well. There we go. Um, didn't really get any suggestions on it. You guys are very, you guys are just extremely supportive in my in my comments. And oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how awesome that is to get that those supportive comments because. 
you know when you, you you get stuck not being able to do something for a while I'll, I'll be completely honest with you it's almost nerve-wracking to try to come back you it's, it's very <laughs> you kind of wonder oh, should I be doing this is, is this what I'm supposed to be doing I've got six million things going on but I wanted to come back really badly so here I am and you guys are super supportive of that and I greatly appreciate that Doop -ba -doo. A couple things I need to slowly do is, one, I need to get that new microphone worked out. It's still sitting there looking very pretty on my desk, not being used. Currently using it for Skype with my best friend from Colorado. Because then she can hear the whole family and just be a part of the family again like she used to when I was living there. Hello, give, thank you. Um, so it's really fun for that. It's just not so great for videos because you guys will hear everything under the sun in the background. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear the dog barking next door or the helicopter going overhead or... Which, that that brings me to another interesting point I didn't even write down for this today. Um, which, yes, I am actually starting to use an outline. My brain is so scattered right now. I'm pretty sure you guys can all tell that from the last video. Um, so it, we live out on the edge of a uh, nature reserve, which is pretty awesome. Um, but what I never expected was the amount of helicopters that go over. So I'm not sure if they're actually out on the highway searching for people or if people have gotten themselves lost back there. But on a pretty regular basis, we hear helicopters just going back and forth above what feels like above the uh, our home. It's kind of interesting. Or then the times when you've got the... Um, what is it? The uh, the fires going on out here. It's kind of scary. So far, absolutely nothing has affected us. And, and, um, I would knock on wood, but I kind of want to get it over with. I have yet to feel, actually feel or notice my first earthquake since I moved to California. So, yeah. I know, I know, I just completely jinxed all of us here. For those living in the state, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not very nice of me. Hello, we need more slabs, please. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Hmm. So I'm not sure if... I'm thinking as, as it's a barn, I really don't want to put windows up top here. I think it's just going to be an enclosed area with the uh, doors. I don't know. What do you guys think? Doors at either end or doors at one end? I'll probably leave it one end. If you guys think we should go both ends, I'll add those in next time. And I'm really not going to put doors in. I'm just going to put the nice little gates like that. A little further. There we go. So on the stairs, I'm still sitting debating on those stairs coming down. If I want to use actual stairs or if I want to do a slab step thing. I'm just not sure yet. And I kept trying to get into creative to create it. And it just didn't give me an idea of what I wanted. So I figured I'd come do that with you guys here. There we go. There, we have a roof, and we're stuck on it. Hmm. Oh, I like that roof. Uh. Hello. Let's go over here. Yeah, I like that roof. That ends up looking really good. I was thinking about it, and my tendency is to go with a higher peaked roof. And really, when it comes to barns, most of the time, they're actually not like that. They do tend to be... It's kind of like you take that triangle and smush it to get it across the whole barn. So you don't end up with very high peaked roofs in many situations on barns. Hello. You have a roof over your head all the way. Now we need to make it safe in here for you. All right, let's see. Where did my gates go? I thought I had eight gates. Oh, I did. I used them upstairs. Whoops. Let's go get our crafting table. All right, then. Hello. All right. Oh, it's dark in here, too. Well, this isn't going to be the best of lighting, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. There we go. And mine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see here. Not where I wanted that. Goodbye. Oh, you stayed for me. Thank you.
Hmm. I almost like the break under the eaves. You actually see that in some barns, but no. We're not going to go that way with it. Let's see here. And make that into that. Chicken goes away. Oh, we can't. We have to go stone slab. Not there, though. Silliness. Oh, my. Let's... So I was talking to Ow. You were talking to Ow. Hmm, smart. I was talking to Magica this morning. And they were talking about how cold it is up where they're at. I do not miss that. Don't miss that one bit. How is that like that? That just looks weird. I guess I already filled it and I'm just being a dork. It's a good possibility. I have to admit I am extremely happy with the fact that I live in a warm weather area. I'm just way too cold. It would just be absolutely torturous if it wasn't. So, an advantage of living in this area is listening to the birds already this part of the season, which I have absolutely been enjoying. And I believe that would be my word of the day because I keep saying it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Doop. Synonyms are amazing for not sounding like you're repeating yourself constantly. Mm hmm If nobody told you that, they should have. See, we need four of these? Yeah. Four. That's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Give back. Two, eight, one, two. I don't know. My brain's not functioning right. I need four in each, so that's perfect. Mm hmm. Like that. Get our gold, all of those things. Take our. Sticks back. You know, I think I'm going to leave you here. Drop down here. And now we have a secure barn. Sort of. What was that? Silliness. Silliness. But one of the reasons... I actually closed the window before I actually started this video specifically so that you guys wouldn't have to listen to the birds as much as I love them. That's a really good view there of the birch tree. Hmm. Well, I'm mostly happy with it. I don't think I'm unhappy enough with it to actually tear it back down. There's something that's just not, not right about it. And I'm not sure what it is. Hmm. Well, I think it's going to stay like it is for now. Um, maybe if I added, made it symmetrical with the, uh, with the ladders down. Maybe it's just the light color. It's just I'm not used to listening, looking at that kind of thing. Could potentially put windows on the side at the top as well. Um, could, that would be a lot of work, but I could lower the roof and make it more peaked so it's only coming up one on the side instead of two and have little windows coming out of the stairs like I did on the one on Terra Firmacraft possibility. I think for the moment though I'm going to leave it and get some torches. We'll see what we think of it in the morning. Let's go sleep. Yay for being on the server by myself. There we go. Who needs stairs to get up here? I got ender balls. Alright then. All right, I'm going to sleep and I will be right back. And we are back. Goodbye house. All right, let's do some chores, put some stuff away. Have you guys seen the storeroom yet? Did I show you? Mwahaha. This will actually eventually be full of chests all the way around. Well, at least these both sides. And organized as can be so far. Yeah, working on it. We'll get there. There we go. Uh, Yeah, we're good with that. Let's see. Off we go. Oh, yeah, we don't need those in there anymore. Alright, so let's do some chores and then we're going to work on. I know I didn't actually even intend to spend that much time on the barn, but I got some chattering at you guys. You know how it goes. Especially if somebody likes to talk. Oh, 
I think I like it. Let's see what it comes out, how it looks when there's other stuff around it. We can always tear it back down and get rid of it. Chore time! So, I also need to finish this thing. So the goal literally is to put in um, pistons that will come up and stop the water from going that way. Stop the, so the water goes over the top all the way down and into the hoppers down there to put that into that. For the moment, for the moment, we're not the high tech. For the moment is literally just going along and doing it in, in, by hand. Whee! Alright, there we go. So, for those times when you don't have an ender ball in your hands, I want to come up with a stairway that comes down this, and I'm thinking of doing it in uh, half slabs. So it's a nice gradual stair all the way down with a nice maybe handrail along the side or railing. Uh, and have it come down somewhere there and then have it split a part of it split off to go this way. Um, not sure if I'll ever have one come down over there. Maybe I could have it wrap around a little bit. Not sure. We'll see. It's all a work in progress. It's what this is all about, isn't it? Kind of just enjoying yourself, trying new things. Having fun, building something new. Creativity. You know. That stuff. Hello, potatoes. I'm not going to bother to see if they're actually grown or not. There we go. Sadly, we will still, according to what I'm doing with this, have to replant the potatoes. That's okay, though. See, here's where I cheat. Into the water with you. Where's the... Uh, there we go. I would breed those guys some more, but they're already so packed in there, I need to make them a larger pen. It's pretty crazy. So, you guys might notice, if you notice over there, there are some black sheep now. I'm working on putting together the... whoops. Putting together the supplies to make something at spawn. That would be my goal. But I gotta get all the supplies together for that first, so we're working on it slowly but surely. Sheep can only grow fur so fast. Fur, huh? Mm-hmm. Hair. Alright. That's done. Hey, potato. What the heck? I just harvested you. You grew too fast. Uh, let's see. These I'll have to cut down eventually again. Hi, guys. Do I have my shears? We do. Time to get some more black wool and white wool. I need to figure out what else I need. I know I need some redstone lamps for that project. We need some... A heck of a lot of sand, I think. We'll get there. One thing at a time. No rush. Just time to enjoy. Hello, sheep. How are you? Well, please. Okay, thanks. I see black wool over here. So, before I forget, and I, as you guys know, don't intend about talking to I intend to talk about this a whole lot. But I want to give you guys a small update on the two tiny ones. Uh, if you have, are you on my? If you are on my Google Plus, you will have seen a picture from about two weeks ago of the older of the two girls. Um, give you guys an update. They are doing absolutely amazing for being the age, the gestation age they were. I think we need to light this up some more. That would be the thought process there. Uh, they are off of Nasal Canyon. They're off of they're off of a uh, bubble CPAP. If you guys want to look what that is, a continuous positive air pressure machine, I think is what it stands for. Either way, they're doing absolutely amazing. They're they're growing. They are insanely adorable, but of course I'm the mom, so I'm supposed to say that, right? <laughs> There's your update. Things are going extremely well in that category. All right, let's see. I did bring myself this, so I don't have to do this. So I don't have to come in every single time. We'll put it back. And we'll put that right there. So if we don't like this, we don't like this. So for now, though, I'm going to try this out. We're going to... I don't know, what do you guys think here or tear this tree down? I know I need to plant one or two trees around here again. I was tearing those down to give myself a way down. Maybe right here directly? Hmm. Hmm. Could go wider at the top so that it actually fits the house so you're not having to turn the corner and go down. Or we could just, I kind of like the idea of having it centered more on the barn. Could just outright turn the house around. 
and have it go from here. Nah, this tree can go. We can always replant the trees. That's not a big deal. Not going to worry about putting the, um, at least for right now, the actual dirt underneath it. Let's see where this goes with half slabs. What do you guys think? All right. So we're going to just start with thinking three wide. Of course, there's that side of it. All right. Put that up. Put that. That's why I have my dirt. So now I can put this here. Not really what I wanted to do. Oh, well. That works for now. We'll take it back off. Oh, did it really do that? I thought I lost a half slab. Strange. Alright, let's see here. That. That. Yep. So what I'm going to have to do as we go along this is actually put dirt underneath to do the next one each time. And jump down and back up again. Boy, I wish I was getting this much much exercise in in the rest of life. There we go. We'll we'll just take this stuff off later. Goes on the bottom half. There we go. Hmm. This is going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Oh well. It'll be worth it in the long run. That is all I know. It will be so completely worth it in the long run. Do, do, do. Um, all right, so you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and put this part in and see how far down we end up with half slabs. I like the idea of being able to run up them. and I know that sort of works on stairs now, but the stair would make it too steep. So I want to see how this looks with half slabs and then add some details to it after I show you guys how this turned out with that way. So I will be back in a few minutes. Be right back. Okay, we are almost done with this part and we'll see what we think of it. Oh, really? Seriously? We get this close and it goes kaboom. Alright, what do I do with it? I know I've read it out. Oh, there it is. Ha! <laughs> I obviously... Oh, whoop! There we go. There's what we needed. What do you guys think? Nice convenient way down to the barn with a little tiny turn at the oopsies end. Whew. Mini heart attack because I think I fell off. Right, no. Bad. There we go. Obviously we have a long way to go on this yet and I completely fail at taking out boards today. There we go. Alright. So come out the door, wander over here and hightail it down. Okay, maybe not bounce. Down to here. This is a bottom half slab, so it should save us from having any spawns there. And then we can take and just actually run a boardwalk right along the side of the barn here. Hi! You really like being in my way, don't you? I don't know if I want to go a full three wide. We'll see. Let's take this along here and see where it feels like. It feels wide enough with two. We won't widen any further. And then we need to start coming up with, you know, I didn't even actually contemplate it. I think I want to make it straight out of wood. But there is the possibility of doing some kind of um, decoration on it. Hello, fail block. By that, I mean an accenting block to make up the sides of it, etc., etc. Let's see what it looks like from over here. Three and then two. Hmm. I think I like it as two. Maybe. Yeah, I think we'll leave that. Alright, so there we go. We now have a convenient way down other than Enderball. To walk down. Obviously not at all done with this. I'm not even 100% sure I like the fact that it doesn't match the house. Talk about multiple colors of wood. This is not a matching situation at all. This is a build it as we go. Alright then. Well, I have a bad feeling that that is pretty much killing the rest of the episode. Uh, at least filling it out nicely. Uh, we have farmed. Yay, we got our nice... We'll take it down there and put it away while I talk to you guys. We got our lovely 
Uh, well, that's it. That's the word for it. To keep working towards doing the project in town. We can put back this stuff. We still have tons of dark wood. I didn't use barely any. I thought I'd use a lot more than that. You are not dark wood. Where did you come from? Um, and... Oh, put those back as well. And find the spruce box. Where's my spruce box? Spruce box. There we go. We'll check out the... Oh. I'm not sure what I think of that. So I forgot that vines actually will go sideways now. So now we have some in front of the window as well. I kind of like it. If they cover the whole window, though, we may have to do some trimming. But there's our beautiful ocean view from our absolutely gorgeous storehouse. Store, storeroom, whatever you want to call it. For the person who is too drunk to go up the stairs, obviously. Not sure what this character's been drinking. I still think too many colors. We may have to redo the barn, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Too many colors. All right, then. That. Give me your opinion. See what you guys think of it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.